Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me in Working Shopper. Today I just want to continue the car story from the last video. This is part two, I guess. And um, let me tell you, summer is here. It's like I kind of want to eat food, like I want some Indian food, but then all I really want to do is drink and have some melon. <laughs> So, continuing the car story. By the time my old car was breaking down, I had quit my current job and started doing independent jobs where I needed a car. So I was traveling a lot, the decision to buy a new car. I said, well, I saw a car online. Where is that car? Oh, well, that's at our other location. But let me show you this car over here. But anyway, I found um, a used car, which is the car I have now. But it was over my budget. So I was like, okay, maybe I should just, I was like, okay, well, I like this car. Let me just go ahead and finance it. I didn't finance the whole price because the amount that I had for my budget, I put that down and then I financed the rest. The guy who, sh who was showing me the cars said that I can get the internet price, which is about $2,000 less than what the price was on the sticker. But by the time that I had talked to the finance person, I forgot. And I'm pretty sure that the finance person did not give me the internet price. So I ended up paying about two thousand dollars extra than I that than I needed to. Plus, after all the taxes, I did the credit check, found the lender, everything came back okay, and then um, the guy got into the car and we drove to the bank. <laughs> this time, I went to a real bank, a standalone branch, not one of those grocery store branches <laughs> that don't carry cash. <laughs> so I went in the bank. The amount that I was putting down was a large sum. So I asked for a cashier's check, thinking it's not going to be a problem. She asked me for ID. I had to go through and update everything. I had to verify this, verify that. Then she had to call her supervisor over. The supervisor had to verify this, verify that. 
but I handed him the check, drove back to the dealership, got all my paperwork out, and then the car was officially mine. This car is better than my old car because my old car, the seats couldn't move. Okay, I can move it back and forth towards the steering wheel, but I could not recline the seat. So when I had to drive long trips, I couldn't recline the driver's seat back and like take a nap. I had to climb into the back seat and stretch out across the whole seat. There were times when I slept in my car overnight. There were a couple times when I was scared. I parked on the street in an area that was quiet and then all of a sudden a car comes up behind its bright lights are on and floods light through the back window into the whole car and then a bunch of young I think they were teenagers they sounded like teenagers if not teenagers they were like 20 year olds and it sounded like you know they were like the tough guys in the neighborhood and everything and I was like oh my goodness I want to go to sleep, but I can't get out of the back seat and get to the front seats and start the car. So I like just stayed in the back seat all that time, just like, oh my God, oh my God, don't come near my car. <laughs> um, and then there was another time when I had parked at, it wasn't a hostel. I had parked at one of those, um, not a hostel, a, one of those live-in hotels like you can pay weekly pay monthly but i don't know if it was a dream or not i could swear that sometime during the night someone came by the car and started like tapping on the window i don't know if they tried the doorknob or what but it was i w there were times when using the blackouts caused more problems than they did and I figured out that if you, in certain areas, if you park and black your windows out, it looks suspicious. So what I had started doing was when I parked, um, I would find a parking spot and I was like, okay, well, there's a lot of cars around here. People are used to seeing cars here. I'm just going to leave the windows unblocked and I'm going to cover myself with a black sheet. So that way anyone passing by they can just look in the car and then just keep walking because it's normal. Um, there was another time I had parked at, at a comp a apartment complex and I had slept there before and no one bothered me. But this particular time, I, for some reason, I was uncomfortable and I kept having to toss and turn. And then the security bike, for some reason, happened to be there at that time and saw me through the back window like moving in the car and then he comes and shines his light and saying hey you can't be here this is private property <laughs> oh my gosh anyway that is my car story <laughs> thank you for joining me in the video and listening to me ramble again i hope you enjoyed it and until next time